Hello, welcome to this microscale esterification um, synthesis of ethyl benzoate. So we're going to look at the background chemistry first of all. So starting off with the idea of an ester um, for creating the ester functional group. There's lots of ways to do this, but we'll concentrate on the Fischer esterification, which is the most common one using carboxylic acid and an alcohol. So you take your carboxylic acid, choose an alcohol to react it with, and using a, a H2SO4 acid catalyst and some heat, you'll turn it into an ester and some water. So looking at a common example, propanoic acid and ethanol, let's just concentrate on the bonds being broken, uh, one C single bond O, one O single bond H, and the bonds being formed, one C single bond O and two O single bond H. So if we just quickly point out the bonds that are broken and made, we can now move on to the thermodynamics. So using bond enthalpies, um, we're going to take the aromatic ring to be the Kekulé structure, like shown in these structures here on the screen. Um, the bond enthalpies for the actual pi delocalized model that we use nowadays is slightly different, but just for the purposes of matching the, um, the bonds that are in the graphic, I'm going to use alternating C double bond C and C single bond C. So adhering to the, uh, the equation in the yellow um, field there, the box, uh, we take the reactants and add up all the bonds, and that gives us 9686. Take the products, add up all the bonds, and that gives us 10,150. So subtracting one from the other gives us minus 464 kilojoules per mole, which means we've got an exothermic reaction. However, there's quite a high activation energy to overcome, so we need to try and lower that using a catalyst and also provide some heat to help overcome that as well. But as we said, we've got minus 464 um, kilojoules per mole, hence why the delta H arrow is pointing down. So we're going to have a quick look at the demonstration. So I'll put the, um, the equipment up there for you. So we cut two plastic pipettes, one near the tip and one near the bulb, and one can fit inside the other, as you can see over here. So this forms our reaction vessel, and it can be heated quite safely in a water bath. It also helps minimise the volumes and quantities of reagents needed adding further safety. So my colleague Ollie is going to demonstrate and I'm just going to narrate over what he's doing. So he's going to weigh out approximately 0.24 grams of uh, solid benzoic acid into a small 10 centimeter cube beaker. He's got about one centimeter cube of ethanol ready to add once he's got the exact amount. So adding the ethanol directly to the solid benzoic acid, you can give them a bit of a swirl and they can mix together. So they're not reacting yet because like we said there is a high activation energy required to overcome. So putting the reaction mixture carefully into one of the cut um, pipettes, the one with the neck remaining, that's going to form the main reaction vessel. And in the background is a stock bottle of concentrated sulfuric acid. We're going to add one drop of that to act as our catalyst. So because of the risks involved in handling it, the fact we're doing it in microscale is making it a bit safer. So then we put the bulb of the other pipette on top and we form a semi-sealed reaction container and our water bath has been set up at 70 to 80 degrees C and it's left for 10 minutes to sterify. Then you take the, the lid off and Ollie is wafting very carefully the vapour towards his nose to detect the smell of ethyl benzoate. So let's have a quick look at percentage yield. So using a typical example here, we can see that we've got an equimolar stoichiometry between the benzoic acid and the methyl benzoate. And using the um, molar masses of each one, you can calculate from the question, you've got 3.6 grams of benzoic acid, which is 0 0.0340 moles. So considering the stoichiometry, you expect the same number of moles um, of methyl benzoate. The question though uh, says that there's 1.9 grams of methyl benzoate actually made. So that's actually only uh, 0.01583 moles. So clearly less than what we'd expect. So you divide the actual over the expected, which gives us 46.6% to 3 sig figs. And our theoretical yield is 0 0.0340 moles, which is 4.08 grams. And like we just said, 46.6%. So thanks for listening. Until next time, see you soon.